At times, you might receive your working documents in a keyhole markup language that's a .kml or if it's zipped, .kmz file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert these file types to an S3 shape file format, .shp, along with the other deliverables that come with it. First, let's create a, a KMZ file of our own. On Google, it, you check your point of interest, say, Minibang. Enter. Now we'll create a polygon in any of these, in this place, just as a sample. Let's take the swimming pool. To create a polygon, rather than putting coordinates when you want to create a referenced file, you just click on Add Polygon, and then you can zoom in nicely to trace it properly. You click, you click, you click, you click, and that's all. You can backspace, backspace, take stuff. Then you can name up, name your polygon to be swimming pool. You can edit the color. You can edit the color if you wish. the outline and the fill color you can add a description you can add anything else the purpose of this is such that whenever you come to your google it as you can see on the left tab here there are other points that have been chosen in the past so if you click on it on this one then you can easily see the description at all but that's all for now. Click on OK. On the swimming pool to export it, we'll right click and save place as. Save place as. You can now choose either a KML or KMZ file. A KML and KMZ are both keyhole markup language files, but a KMZ comes in kind of a zipped format. And it's a lot more protected. On ArcGIS, it's a little different because KMZ files are not used so much. But we'll be using QGIS to find this so we can stick with our KMZ file. That's saved. On QGIS, be sure to have known the directory where you have saved your file for easy access. You can Activate your browse panel if it's not already activated. Simply right click on the toolbar here and browse panel. Make sure it's ticked. Go to home and navigate to the directory where your file is saved. Mine is in documents and saved in Google Earth images. Swimming pool. Just click and drag it into your area. Add layers. Now you see it. To convert it to a an S3 ship file layer, right click on it, export, save features. Then you can see a ton of a list of um, file formats that can be used here. You simply select Shape file. If you need it in TXF format where you can where it can be edited in AutoCAD, then fine and good. S3 shape file. You can give it a file name swimming. Then you set your coordinate reference system if it's different. And that's all. Okay. 
you see it comes in as a shape file so this shape file can be accessed i didn't check the directory where it's saved i didn't check the directory where it's saved let's check it again let's check the default directory you can change the directory here see it's default saved in documents let's save it in this swimming games in save okay Now we have another file. I did this so that I'll easily navigate to it to show you that it has been saved and exported. We'll go to files.qgis special data hub. And you see it's seeming KMZ. As usual, shape files come with other file extensions in the package CPG, DBF, PRG. QMT and .shp. So, this is it. Don't fail to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, you can do that now, right now, and then like the video if this added value to your work. I'll see you in the next and in the previous when you check out the channel.